In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to get started with AppSheet. As we go through this, this is gonna allow you to get started and to launch your app. So let's get into it. You're gonna go to appsheet.com and in order to get started, you're gonna to need to have a Gmail account. Once you sign up for a Gmail account and you log in, then you're going to be taken to this screen. Now you can start a lot of different ways, but I would just click this button where it says make a new app. And this allows us to start very quickly. We can start by grabbing your own data to get started. We'll start with start with an idea, or we can just say start with a sample app. I'm gonna go with a sample because this allows me to move more quickly because this is going to structure an app that works. And I'll go into that in a little bit. If we look at a cat, the different categories. It allows me to pick like field service, inventory management, sales and CRM. Pick one that uh, is appropriate for what you're looking for. Now, if you're wanting to see what it looks like, you can also click the tab on the right-hand side where it says uh, sample apps. And this allows you to explore those different types of apps that you could use. Once you do that, you can either say copy or I just go back to the starting screen. I say make a new app, click this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with property management. I'm just gonna say property management beta. And now I get to use a sample of that. I can say tenant logistics occupancy tracker, rental manager. I'm gonna go with tenant logistics. I'm gonna click on this and then it's going to already build with this template and we're going to see the end result in one second. And just like that, it already makes the app for me. Now let's go through a couple different things. We're gonna start on the left-hand side, looking at the basics of how it's structured and then we're gonna go into the middle and then the right-hand side. Like we just looked at, I was trying to build an app for property management. If I don't have a data source, right here, it already compiles the data base for me. This is a, a really big thing that I wanna mention because if you're looking at different things like Bubble, Adalo, you have to choose the relationship of the database, need to understand the relationship. Depending on your industry, AppSheet already makes those decisions for you. Now you can edit them, but the relationship of the properties, the units, move in, move out, it's already structured the database for me. That's huge, so I don't even have to think about it. Now again, you can edit it, but it already structures it for me. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go to info. Now this allows me, and I love this view, but this allows me to see the relationship with all the different moving parts, the components of the app. I can click dashboard, and this now allows me to see the app usage, app performance, early versions, plan requirements, all of those things here. Properties, this allows me to see app properties, information, and then it has a section if there's any errors that need to be fixed or anything like that. Again, we just went through the data section, already done for me. Left-hand side, I go to now what it looks like, the UX. Now, Keep in mind, I would like to point out, when we're looking at this platform, I think it really excels in the structure and what it's doing and all of the unique features. It is not going to be as customizable as other app platforms. It's just not meant for that. So just keep that in mind. You can do basic things, you can change out the logos, but I'm just saying it right here. So that way, if you're like, well, I wanna have a different style when it's different pages, it's gonna be limited, so what I would do is first work on the basics and then work on the logistics of what you want changed. I have the branding right here. I have the format rules where I can have the font colors, icon formatting, changing the font colors. Options right here where I can have it uh, starting view, where it's going to be. Say for instance, you know all the different components right here, I can, I can make sure that I can customize how it's going to start up or where I want the users to start. And I can customize the, the system text as well. Next, we're gonna look at behavior. Now this is huge right here because this allows us to really have a 
plug and play style of adding an action. So we can go through, how do I want to modify the data? What do I want to happen? What kind of actions? I can just say new action and start planning from there. It can build out from what's going to happen with what kind of uh, information. I can have the appearance and I can have the uh, behavior down here as well as the documentation. So now comments help you uh, collaborate. So say for instance, you do this workflow, it makes sense to you, but you have someone else looking at this, they have no idea what's going on. You can have a description of like, this is why I do this workflow. I think that's huge, or this is why I do this, these actions. Then from there, we have workflows where will be rules are triggered. And so we can say add email automations. Add, uh, you know, add a record, notifications, all of those things right here. Then we have reports being triggered at a certain time or, you know, events and all those things. And this is something that's huge right here. I want to show that this has an advantage over every other no-code platform out there. The offline sync they make this so easy. If you're in an area, if you're doing this for an app and you have someone that's not online for a little while, you can still perform actions and then it will sync once you get on Wi-Fi. This is huge. This is huge. There are so many different features of the syncing, what you want to happen, all of those things. But just to let you know, it does allow offline capabilities and then it syncs when you get back on Wi-Fi. Then we have the automations section here. And then this bot defines the automation you want in AppSheet to run. So when something happens, bam, do some of these set activities. So the bot has it right here. And then what I love is the diagram. It allows you to think about, okay, your action and then what's going to happen. You have the bot, then you have the events, processes, and tasks. All of those different things right here. If you're worried about security, and it makes a lot of sense, depending on your business, if you're in healthcare, or all these things, you have to worry about the layer of security. They already take care of that as well. There's so many things that it's already utilizing the, the platform, which is Google and Google Cloud Platform. They're already using some of their best practices already in this app. This is why I love it. And then the last section, which is huge, which there's there's going to be another in-depth video of just this one component, the intelligence. You can be using smart assistants, predictive models, and OCR models. So OCR, if you want to have, if you're going to be taking a picture, it will start storing the pictures. And not only that, it will start recognizing what's happening. So if you are taking pictures of receipts and you're doing but nothing but taking pictures of receipts, it's going to start utilizing something called Google Cloud Vision to be able to discern what's going on and then group them. And there's just a lot right there, but keep in mind, it's a great thing. So say for instance, you you want certain components of a receipt to already be put in, like say for instance, the name of the business, how much it was, all those things. There's certain ways to structure it so when you take a picture, you don't have to en enter it man manually. That's just one, that's one feature, one way you can use OCR. The other one is predictive models. They use or leverage machine learning, different components of Google Cloud Platform to be already baked into AppSheet to start using that as well. And then again, we have the Smart Assist right here, and this uses voice commands to interact with your app. You don't need another third party. You don't need any of that. It already has that with the app. Those are just the components of AppSheet and what's on the left side of the screen. Now, if we look in the middle section, this is where once we click on what we're looking for, the database, what we're going to do with the UX or behavior, then we can start modifying it in the middle. And this allows us to now, again, navigate, decide what we're going to do. And then the right side of the of the page, now it displays what's happening. It already has the mock-up of my app right here. I can preview the app and apply it. But also too, I can see what it looks like if I have it vertical or a tablet or horizontal. Or I could just open a new tab. Okay, right here. Then I can change. It will optimize. It'll be all set for you. At the bottom, I can see what's going on. Available, move in, move out. 
and see how the window reacts, share. I can do all of that stuff. This allows you to get started quickly. As you can see, they're building out all the main functionality that you need to make this a success. Now, what I love about this is after you have this, you can deploy it, you can start sending it to people and get feedback right now. It, everything's already done for you. What's the next steps? It's important that you're iterating on your app once you get feedback. Don't overthink that this has to be perfect or I have to get all the colors or this doesn't match my brand. See if people like your product. What I really like about this platform is I view this to transform a business that already has something going on or you have a big idea and you didn't, you don't know where to start and there's so many different components, you can be using a platform like this. If I need to bring in something like GPS, this already has all of the components that I need. I need to bring in a large data set. I need to bring something in with, from my SQL. I have a, another platform that I'm using on Google Cloud Platform. AppSheet was acquired by Google, so all of the integrations can be found here. Now, that's a lot. So before getting down that road and thinking and overthinking it, just get in here, use a template, get started, start moving around things, and then launch. In the comment section down below, let me know what kind of app you're trying to build, and we'll create videos based around that. But what I would do is, don't feel intimidated. Look at some of the sample apps. Look at some of the businesses or your category. Think about what you need and then execute. Get out there and start using this. This is going to be a game changer. And a lot of this year, we're going to be focused on how people can get the most out of their, uh, their platform, AppSheet, and how you can start making a business using tools like this. Again, if you have any questions, in the comment section down below, let me know and I'll talk to you in the next video.